all the names of the mountains here. That way I can judge my distance. And distance is really what I need to know for fires. And if you look all the way over, there's a mountain kind of way in the back that's shaped like a, a ice cream cone. Mm -hmm. Right like that. That's split rock. Mm -hmm. And split rock is exactly 20 miles away. Whoa. So now you know distance right. based on split rock. Wow. The big black mountain in front of it is Britannia. So when I get a smoke anywhere in that direction, I can judge my distances based on Britannia or split rock. Mm. So everywhere I go, I have a mountain that I know. And so I made a cheat sheet right here with lines going out to all my prominent mountains. And then I have distances marked off. Mm. So now if it's on this side of the mountain, I can count my marks or if it's on the other side. And then once I get that, I have an X, Y axis. So the X axis is townships. So this whole section is township 26 north. My vertical axis is range. So then I isolate it to a square, which has 36 sections. And each section is, I think, around 600 acres. So then I can nail it down to a, I can nail it down to a section. So each section is numbered, and I can say it's in section 21. Then they'll dispatch to it, and I pretty much, that's my, my job is over until they get lost, and then, or they want to know what the smoke is doing, and then I'll tell them, well, I think you're going to take the road at Camp Grace and make a right, and the fire should be on your left from there. So, you know, that's how I would take them into it. Um, we had one right off of Britannia, right off the slope of Britannia, down in that valley. And they couldn't find it, and it got to two and a half acres before they actually saw it. So I'm, I'm sitting here going, it's sticking out like a sore thumb, yeah. but they, they couldn't see it. Right, mm -hmm. how do you not see it? But you're at a vantage point. It took them two hours to get in there, and that was even ranchers that worked in the area. So they, they finally found it, and um, I had nailed it. Uh, right on, it was right in section 21, or actually 31, <coughs> that's where it was, it was in section 31. So I, I hit it right on the button, and it was all based on, I knew that mountain, Britannia, and I just said, hey, it's right across from Britannia, and it was. So, um, that's, that's how you, that's all you do, is you just learn the mountains and then judge everything. This area, though, I have a whole blind spot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I've had two fires on the other side, and what happens is a rancher will call me on the cell phone. And we had a game of fish warden come through here, call sign GS49, to hold them about the bear, so they're going to go check it out just in case you haven't made it there yet. That's the first bear sighting I've heard of. All right. Wow. It's all the trash that people left in Estherbrook uh, Campground. That is so unnerving. Yeah, I guess the fire crew is going to go up and clean it up. And um, What's your elevation? 8,043 I just saw that. Okay. Range. And that's my latitude. Okay. And then uh, we just looked up.
Peregrine Falcon.